My name is Pete Howard, and I'm the consignment director for entertainment and music here at Heritage. You know, I fall asleep to music every night. Some people might have to take sleeping pills and stuff like that. I put on noise-canceling headphones, and I love to just drift off to music every night. I realized when I was a late, in, late in my teens, it's like, I want to work in music. I just adore music, and I'm not a musician. So it's like, what can I do in music? I remember when I was young, somebody said, work in an area that you have a passion for, and the money will follow. Well, they didn't say how much fun would follow as well. So I'm like a kid in a candy store, to be honest. I mean, I just work with my passion, and uh, I just have a deep love for it. You know, a real, real strong passion for it. I've been a collector my entire life. I love music my entire life. And I finally, those two came together perfectly when I discovered concert posters in the early 1990s. Back then, there were only three media that a concert coming to town could be advertised through. Radio ads, newspaper ads, or concert posters. Nobody saves old newspapers, nobody really wants them. Radio ads just went off into the ether, so we have concert posters with images and song titles and ticket prices and, and everything else and good colors, you know, quite often. So, and they're fleeting. Most of them are thrown away. It drives me crazy that people didn't think to save things until starting in the early 70s. I just love the fact that these things are hard to find now. Somebody brings in a bunch of concert posters, they're going to see how I interact with their stuff. They're going to see the love and respect that I have for the best posters and the cool posters. And I, you know, immediately start talking about the music that was performed and advertised on the posters. And they're going to know that their stuff is in loving hands. And they're going to see the depth of knowledge and um, the, the passion that goes into the writing and describing of these things. Just the fact that, you know, it's uh, you can't go back in time. And so with concert posters, you sort of feel like you're a little bit there.